Hello guys and welcome to Azura Lane subscriber request video. So a subscriber asked me to do loyal low oil cost farming. So I'll briefly touch on that, but you won't see a battle at all. The battle would be in a different video because there's still a lot of features we need to cover for the Azura Lane Beginners guide series. So I'll briefly touch upon the low oil cost farming. So I'm gonna go into formation and I'm gonna go into my fourth fleet. Now fourth fleet, all these ships are common. I can show you right now. All these ships are the lowest in terms of limb break and they are really oil efficient. So I'm gonna go to the dock right now to prove that all of these are common. Well, the thing is with Bogue, she is common when you get her, but she becomes a blue after you fully retrofit her. So I'm just saying that right now. But still, it's oil efficient because she's com she's common like the other four stars you don't see any five stars i'm running i'm running bogue i'm running Cassin, spence langley uh let's see bogue Cassin, spence langley i'm also running ranger now do keep in mind that i don't have ranger fully limit break so i don't necessarily know the full amount of oil efficiency that you have with fully limit braked because i don't have ranger limit braked at all fully i'm also running craven as well so those are the ships that i'm running and let's go see how oil efficient we can be so we click on one of the battles. Do keep in mind you're not going to see any battles. This is just a, a test to see how efficient the oil cost can be. So I'm going to choose fourth fleet. Click go. And then I'm going to go and run into an ambush or something. Oh, let's just evade this. Let's go here. Now, as you can see, I have 46. I think 48 is the maximum, is the minimum oil efficiency with all common ships. Now, if you were to remove a lot of these ships, let me retreat right now. So keep that number in mind, 46. And that's not, that's because I don't have Ranger fully limit breaked yet. Now, let's go into formation. Go, nope, I'm not. I'm gonna touch submarines in another video. So, back to fleet number four. I'm going to remove. As many as I can hitting the minimum now you can farm with two ships yes but it's highly not recommended because you lose a great deal of firepower evasion and anti-aircraft now in terms of oil as you can see it's 14 you can check your oil here or you can check it during the battle so this this is good in oil efficiency the best i would say well let me replace ranger with langley first because she's fully limited well 17 okay 17. that's the m minimum for two ships for oil efficiency now 17 but you lose a lot of firepower is it worth it in my opinion not really but you can do it if you want to at your own risk so
So basically, that's low oil cost farming. As much as I can tell you for 64 with a lot of my limit breaks for ships. I think it's seven, it's 50 for fully limit break ranger. I'm not sure. Let me double check that right now. Now, because ranger is not fully limit breaked, I'm going to go check ranger. If I can find her. We go to level carrier. By the way, you can use this to isolate which ships you want to choose, which is really useful. She's level 55. Now, if I fully limit break her, it increases the oil by one. So 40, so because I don't have Ranger fully limit breaked and combined with all the other limit break ships, I have 46. So 47 might be the cap most likely and I think I guarantee it is because once you fully limit breaker you increase the oil by one so 47 would be the max oil efficiency for a lot of the common ships and four star ships so basically that's low oil cost farming for you However, you do have to advise caution when using a lot of these common ships because in the higher levels, the later chapters you go into, your fleet becomes obsolete. I'll touch upon that in another video, but what it means by that. So stay tuned for that. And this will be the season finale for a Zerling beginner's guide don't worry because this will not be the end of a Zerling and I would and I will be starting a new series for a Zerling as well as I'm gonna start a new game for a guide for that as well so a new anime game is coming with a new tutorial series and I'm going to start a new series for Azura Lane which is totally not related with beginner's guide it's gonna be talking about how to deal with certain enemy units so I have that planned for next week so if you like this video subscribe like and comment down below if you what your opinion is on low oil fleet farming and if you like it or not what's the disadvantages advantages just let me know also if you want to if you want to talk to me join the discord and i'll see you soon in the next video